Hi, I'm Laura Hooks, Vice President and General Manager of Maritime and Strategic Systems. In honor of Women's History Month, I wanted to talk a little bit about how I got into engineering. So engineering for me, um, I was always really good at applied mathematics and linear algebra growing up. So I had a bunch of teachers say, oh, you should be an engineer. I'm like, I don't know what an engineer is. Uh, I always though had an interest in understanding how planes flew because I used to go um, back and forth to Hungary a lot where my family was from and uh, always had an, an innate curiosity on how things actually worked, um, which I probably got from my dad who was always fixing everything. So uh, that kind of sparked an interest for me, um, you know, about engineering, and uh, it kind of carried through uh, my entire, uh, I'll say, childhood growing up, and then also through college. So I got a bachelor's degree, master's degree, and doctorate all in mechanical engineering, which was a really good fit for me because I was more hands-on than than cerebral, I would say. Um, so. I think now today in business, um, you apply that engineering and the principles you learn on problem solving to whatever problem it is you have in front of you, whether it is an organizational problem, a business problem, a mechanical problem, a systems problem, um, you learn kind of those basic skills uh, as part of that engineering degree. And uh, there's been some pretty famous women um, in history that have been engineers as well. Um, Katherine Johnson is a great example. She was a, a NASA uh, mathematician who did uh, orbital mechanics. And then uh, Hedy Lamarr, who actually you think of more as a Hollywood star, she was actually one of the first women that um, came up with the idea of uh, frequency hopping for radios, um, which is something that we actually use today. So a lot of really cool problems out there to be solved and a lot of great role models in history uh, to look at. And, uh, you know, it's always fun to be an engineer. You never know what problem you're going to solve.